Hello, everybody. Whew, sweat. Fellers come and put my air conditioning unit in. They dropped the unit off just a few minutes ago, and I had to move some junk out back and do a little weeding, so I'm hot. But nonetheless, I did make it. Uh, uh, what we got planned for today was this. This is a box of, of stuff. Brother sent and he said it started running bad and he didn't know why, so he took it apart. Couldn't fi figure nothing out. So he sent it to me. So uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to look over the parts, which I've already looked over some. We're going to put it back together. And uh, this is the bag of piasses. And there's something else in here in the box. I ain't exactly sure what it is. Here's to be an Aramis filter. We don't need that. Not the cover. There's a muffler. I'm going to have to go get my hairs cut one more time. But anyway. Whew. I'm burning up. See, he put the bar plate on backwards. I don't know if he done that for a reason. Or just by accident. That ain't break work. Bunch is a little stiff. All right, y'all. Let it go. Woo! That air feels good. I'm burning up. It don't take much for me to get hot. That's the reason why I don't go outside during the summer. Hold Okie dokie, Smokey. Let's see what we can identify and what we cannot. There's a gasket. There's a piece stone and some rings. A surf clip. There's a muffler. There's a core plate. There's a new gasket. There is a new ring. There's a new exhaust gasket. There's a new carburetor kit. There it says valve plug, but there's nothing in it. How many guesses in the box somewhere? This says tube made in Sweden, and it's not in there. So, being that that's blowed out, I'm going to guess he's already changed that. We got one said coil. It looks to be after the market. We're not going to use that unless the other one doesn't work. Looks like we've got some stickers. We don't need them stickers because them are them are stickers for some other stuff. All right, that looks like a, that's a muffler bolt. That's the bolt that holds the muffler on. That'd be the car bolts and the handle bolts. Looks like a dried out fuel line. It's got a fuel line on it. OCJ6. There's a muffler bolt. There's a carburetor with a piece of uh, piece of the wrong line on it for the pulse line. Okay, carburetor says wall bro on it. We'll probably go through that. Okay, there's the plastic hickey for the carburetor. That's what I was asking him about that, but he wasn't sure. He said he thought it was in there. That goes right there. So that the throttle will work. 
There's the muffler bracket. A couple of other muffler bolts. The ring for the intake. It does appear that we are missing some screws. We're going to get all this stuff out of here. Eh, we might not be. And I never throw this stuff away until after I'm finished. That way, if there's any anything you overlook, I know. Y'all are wondering, well, it's all this and that. Why are you taking it out, Hopper? Well, because I can tell you which screw goes where faster if they're laying out here than I can if they're laying in a bag. That's why. And I'll show you here in a minute. Bearings in there. There's that. Two stir clips. I took both of them out. Alright, there's only one ring in here. So I guess if the ring's right, we're going to put it on the top. Alright, now let's move y'all in here a little closer. And I'll show you what's what. For the people who wonder. Alright, there's a the carburetor. There's the two screws for the carburetor. That's the ring that goes in the intake. Choke lever. That is for the big mount that goes on the cylinder. Those are the four that go in the handle. There's a 6x100 that goes in the muffler. There's the other one. There's the rubber hickey for the carburetor. This thing. Then there's one screw for it. There's that's actually the second screw. This and this. These two screws are the screws for this. Uh, there's two screws there that should be the ones that go in the front of that. Which those are aftermarket screws. Here's a screw. I don't know. I don't know what that goes to because that's not an OEM screw for this saw. These two are not either. All right, two of them are missing. Those are there. So this will be held on with these two screws here. And being that this one's almost long enough, and eh, it's just not quite. I was going to use that one as one of those, but it's not quite long enough. I've took a good many of these apart and put them back together, so I know about where, which screws go where. Alright. There's M2. It holds that on. We don't need these four right now. I'll throw them in there. Uh, we're going to have to have these. And we're going to have to put this back together. So I'm going to reach under here and get my little screw box. See if I happen to have screws that will make those. I think these are long enough. I think them two will actually do it. I'm not going to put this all the way back up because i got a feeling we're going to be using because we're shy of some screws. Okay. Now this, okay, he's got a new piece of pulse line on there. Looks like he's got a new fuel line in it. Yep. He's got a new piece of fuel line in it. That's good. Now the, the throttle, the throttle cables come out of place. There we go. Make sure you put that throttle cable back in before you assemble this rifle. If you don't, you will hate it. 
afterwards because it can be a royal pain in the baducus. Get it back in there. Now this, I'm lucky. I'll take it and push it up through there like that. And then pull the throttle cable up through there. And sometimes it helps to go in one side and then the other. But I don't always remember which one. Because this floor plate is kind of a it's kind of an aggravating thing to get up in there. Especially when you got the pulse line underneath it. There we go. Stick her back together and see what happens. <sighs> Just trying to look in here at the current burns. I'm glad they didn't have no oil in them because that makes it impossible to blow the dust out of them. All right. And we're missing one cylinder bolt. One, two, three. We got three of them. One of them's missing. I don't know where it's at. Hopefully, we do. We've got some of them in there. I'm getting low on the five millimeter bolts. I'm gonna have to get another bag of them things. We're gonna clean this up. Shots of Earl in there. Just so it's got, some, got a little bit of dampness. It says pair, but I don't see no pair. There's only one in here. So, we're going to use this one anyway. We're going to put it on the top. Piston looks good. looks pretty good. I don't see nothing really wrong with it, but I'm going to clean it up right quick. All right. I cleaned the top of the piston up. I took the rings that was on it off and I checked them. And I took the one with the smallest ring gap, which was still plenty within spec. And I put it uh, on the bottom and put the new ring on the top. So the new ring does have a little smaller ring gap. So 
That's why I put it on top. So, yeah. Now if I can just get this wrist pin to agree with me. Like that. Put them in there. I always put the little the little catch down there at the very bottom. Oh, and I did find the other uh, I found the other cylinder bolt. It was in the cylinder. He hadn't pulled the rubber piece out here to to let it come out. So I cleaned the cylinder up a mite. I didn't clean it like super good. I just cleaned the exhaust port up because it had a bunch of ash burn in it, and I cleaned everything else up. Trying to think whether I should get that. I'm gonna rub it with a little sandpaper just to make sure. Carbon can build up on these things, and carbon scored a piston, and I don't like that. Just a light rub on there. All right. Now we got the new gasket. Now I'm gonna take my razor knife and just kind of scrape around here to make sure everything's cleaned up. Looked like there might have been a few little remnants of the old gasket hanging out here and there, so just kind of sc scraping over that to make sure it ain't. Scooch y'all out of the way, because the bad thing is my air hose is on this side of the table. I got y'all across the charging port. Okay. Let's see if we can slip this thing back together. I should probably clean the carburetor out quick is what I need to be doing. I may stop and do that. There's said gasket. Because I usually have the carburetor on when I put the cylinder on. Let me... Uh, let me go through the carburetor right quick. I'm not going to film that because I've just done a carburetor like yesterday. Yep. I'm just going to snatch it apart, blow it out with some brake cleaner, put the new guts in it and put it back together. We'll be ready to go. Give me just a minute. Set the meter and lever. I went ahead and changed the needle, the meter and lever, and all of it. Pivot, screen. Got it all sitting here as a stack. Of course, got the carburetor turned the wrong way. Hey, that makes a difference. There's the stack of the old stuff that come out of it. The other side was a little dirty. I cleaned it with a little scotch bright and smoothed it up. Made it pretty. Made it pretty and clean. Came with two gaskets. I hadn't figured that one out yet. Well, actually three. I just used one.
this stuff out of the way. I'm just going to throw it down here in the, in the box of screws. There's the needle and the pivot and the spoon. So it's all new. So if it gives issues, it's all new. <laughs> we can blame we can blame Husky for it. through there it don't belong like that. Sets up against the outside of it. We're gonna take this off here because I like to have it all put together whenever I throw it. up and make sure the choke works because the adjusters are not the little spacers are not in the carburetor like they're supposed to be Hold on, choke won't work. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and fellers, and fellettes, and all the rest of you. I don't know. Just, you, know you know how y'all. Whatever. I got the choke working. The butterfly on the choke was a little bit loose, <clears throat> and it had got befuzzled. So I. Uh, I straightened it up and unloosened it. <laughs> Joe. Old Joe Pie, he says unloosened all the time. Joe Pie, Advanced Innovations. He's a heck of a machinist. I love to watch him. But I actually did unloosen this. He says unloosen whenever he takes something loose and unloosen it, you tighten it up, basically. So, But I did unloosen it. It was loose, and now it is not. So... Unloosened it. I forgot to bore out that hole right yonder for this hose. Ah, I ain't still stuffed through there, maybe. Try to get everything, put the throttle back in the throttle holder as you put it together. Because if you don't, you really wish you had. back in the bottom of the, the air filter housing assembly. See? That gives her a reason to stay there. Put the fuel line back on. See if we can put the pulse line on. Sometimes when these lines have been replaced, we might have to shorten them a bit. That looks pretty good. 
All right. We're going to put the screws back to it. We're going to put them all in before we tighten any of them up. Now, he did ask me to put this leg back together stock. So, that's why it's got a base gasket on it. I didn't cut the cylinder. I didn't cut anything. It goes against my natural instincts to do that. But that's what he asked for, so that's what we did. I know. All right. Well, we got the pressure. Let's turn that up there like that. Like it's supposed to be. Hey, everything seems to work good now. I did grind in here just a little bit because there was a bunch of ashy chalk and stuff in there. And I didn't like it. So I got it out of the way. I got it out of the way. Hmm. Somebody has beat on the, the flanger dude here. This is supposed to go this way, right here. I don't know why someone has pounded on it and knocked it back when... Eh. It's close enough. I do with my other screws. There they are. Now, we need this. We got the new screw. And the old screw. And the way this goes is the gasket goes on against the muffler. And then the shield goes on against the cylinder because it's a heat shield and it's made to draw the heat out of the saw and out of the cylinder. So it goes against the cylinder with no gasket. Like that. And then these other two screws that I was talking about, they go here. Here. Now we're going to go ahead and bring them in. Alright, we got all in tight. Got to put her back together. Let me blow this spark plug out. Make sure there ain't no stuff in it. And we got fire. This thing right here is on backwards. Well, put it 
well. You know what? Let's do this one like we did that the other day. Just a little bit of, I'll put a little bit of super lube around that needle. And it'll slip down in there. It's a little bit dry. There we go. Sometimes old grease in there gets hard. A little bit of lightweight. Just around it and loosen it right back up. All right. We're going to put 32 to 1 in it because that's what I got mixed. Change from 32 to 1 to 50 to 1 or 40 to 1, you have to turn the screws in a little bit. Everything should always be good. back in the top of the cylinder. We're going to go ahead and push that in there or I'll get it. I promise you I will. We'll see how it runs. All right. The two short ones. One. Two. And there's a bigger, fatter one. It's longer. It's right here. appears to be bent. So probably why the gas tank is a little crooked because the handle's bent just a little bit. See if it'll see if it'll make smoke.
if he's got it or not because them screws are extremely expensive and I mean extremely expensive all right well I'm gonna shoot this one up for you listening and enjoying pleasure see if you like it I don't know how to put 372 back together to find out what's wrong with it so far we might have got everything I don't know it sounds good all right, y'all. Y'all have a good day. Stay safe, be kind, treat each other the way you're going to be treated. God bless. Remember, Jesus loves you. Have a good day. Don't forget to look in our description. Oh, I'm proud.